What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. I did a lot of filming on heavy flow the last couple days. Well, and um, somehow like the footage got corrupt and I have nothing. So I'm pretty just pretty much doing a recap on pretty much just gonna recap on what I did uh, to the car and what's left to get done to it. So as you know, I locked the VTEC on the car. Um, I put the old timing chain on there because I have no idea where my new timing chain is at. Um, I also put a weight plate on the car and I made it so I can add weight to the back of the uh, plate when, when I need to. Um, I'm gonna like weld barbells to it or something like that. Um, what else is, uh, did I do? Uh, all the cold side and hot side of the kits made. The fuel is moved to a safer spot. Wide bands plugged in, the downpipe is made. I just need to make a dump tube. Um, uh, I need to wire up the electronic boot, electronic boost controller. It has a very soft spring in it right now. I did that purposely just so I can control boost in first so I can gain traction. Uh, I uh, tap the oil pan. I put the return to the front. Uh, I need to make an upper radiator hose and that's about it i made a startup tune it took me forever to get it right because i didn't know where the car was going to idle so i had to take a bunch of fuel out of that spot what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to start it up um oh and i also need to make some brackets for this radiator the intercooler which i'll probably do tonight i plan on buttoning up the car tonight making the uh traction uh bar uh brackets making a traction bar brackets um mounting the traction bars and i need to change out the front suspension like the uh the tie rods the inner and outer tie rods and the boots and all that because we have those new and i'm gonna make the dump tube tonight i'm gonna finalize the car tonight and i'm gonna finalize the s10 tonight so i can get these two cars running and i need to get that uh ef outside running Back at it again with the car um well with heavy flow i should say uh we're gonna be wrapping up uh the entire car tonight so i'm gonna stay here overnight and get the intercooler mounted up uh correctly the front bumper on cut out whatever i need to cut out on it the dump tube cut the hole for the hood um make the pin for the vtech lock um for the locking degree i should say and i'm gonna explain that to later um and i am also going to uh heat wrap the downpipe i have an exhaust blanket here i'm gonna put the radiator hose upper radiator hose on and um fix this belt because it is walking um and then that should wrap this up as far as that i'm trying to get as close as ready to go on a dot oh and make the brackets for a traction bar so I'm trying to make, get this thing as close to being ready for the dyno as possible on Tuesday. And um, then we can probably see if I can go to the track next weekend because I shouldn't have my, my daughter that weekend and my wife should be off at least one day. So I should be able to go to the track at least one day with this thing. So even if I have to um, get in on a private test rental um, with somebody, I'll 
and do that just to get you guys content and get some test hits on the car. So I'm about to um, lock the mechanical side of the cam phaser, which is um, this gear right here. So basically what it does, it allows the cam to be degreed uh, via oil pressure um, up to 50 degrees. So you basically start at around 50 to 45 degrees in low cam, and then you uh, start gradually decreasing the de degree as you go up in the RPM into high cam. So at high cam, uh, you probably would start about like 35 degrees, 30 degrees, and then you'll start go down to about 10, well, not 10, but about 25 to 20 degrees. So since this, the cams are already locked, uh, well, the VTEX locked. You want to phase out the uh, actual mechanical aspect of the cam um, so that even in the event that it goes into a part of the map that I may have missed that has 50 degrees in it, that it physically can't, even though the ECU is commanding it. So it's kind of like a safety feature too because when you put aftermarket cams in these motors, like bigger... Uh, drag cartel cams um they normally tell you to limit the vtc to about 35 or 40 i think um so a company sells a pin and it's basically a rod that they machine down um well it's a piece of billet rod that they machine down but this piece of mile steel rod or i think it's chromoly whatever this little piece of rod right here will work for what we need to do um Back in the day, uh, my buddies and I, we would use uh, either this rod or a welding rod if we wanted it to be the degree to be less. But even still with this, it'll still limit it from going to 50 degrees, which is what we don't want. 40 degrees uh, area is kind of iffy, but if it goes to 50, then you, I think you run into valve to valve contact and that's no good. So let me go ahead and um, I got to change the battery and the GoPro's dying. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start knocking this out. Um, and uh, I'll, oh, and then after that, um, I'm going to make, I, well, I started on the dump tube. Um, but I just need to take the downpipe off so I can get some more room. And then I really know where, I'm probably just going to go down with a dump tube and just keep the, um, the uh, up pipe up it'll just be one simple hole and i'll just call it that All right, so you see this, this is the uh, pin I was talking about. So I'm just go ahead and just insert it into there. It's in there, in the hole right there. And just go ahead and you seal the uh, VTC gear back up. Dump tube all welded up. It's gonna be like this, pointing down in the car on here. Uh, I got the upper radiator hose on. I got the in new injectors in, new map sensor in, uh, have water in the system, water and coolant, I should say. So I'm gonna put this on, put the dial pipe on, uh, change the tune for the injectors and the map sensor and get it started and get it heat cycled and try to, um, I'm probably gonna drive it home in the morning. Um, all right guys, so there it is, final product. Getting terrible at cutting these holes. I need to start just cutting a hole and then making a downpipe to a hole. But I'm beat right now. It's like three o'clock in the morning. I'm calling it a night. I got the car to run and idle good. Um, the thousand CC injectors are trash. So I put stock injectors back in there just so I can move the car around. Um, it idles the same way before as, uh, the first clip you guys saw the idling, um, everything else is just getting the car ready to 
get out of the shop. So um, probably going to do a little test drive in the morning. Um, probably do some filming then. Uh, and I'll let you guys know. But uh, that'll probably be it for this video. Uh, comment, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next upload.